in creating problems, you, you're interacting with movement in a way um, that you do when you climb, but from a different angle. And so you can draw on your climbing knowledge when you're creating, when you're setting. Um, but so often the goal is to convey that experience to another person. And the challenge is that their ability level, their uh, experience of sensation is often different than your own. So it becomes a very abstract process of not just how can I create something that feels good to me, but how can I create something that feels good to a person who is definitely not me. As a young person, I never particularly considered myself to be very creative, or I was never labeled specifically as being creative, but uh, I've realized that I really enjoy looking at how things function, and I enjoy understanding why things are made the way they are, and I, I like making things that have a purpose and a thought out purpose. Climbing is like an abstract activity in that you can, you can talk about it, but the actual experience is kind of hard to put into real words. Um, it's an experiential thing, but ultimately uh, the experience people are coming to the gym for is to climb on something that is exciting, that is engaging. The process of setting is really trying to trying to create that experience for as many people as we can. A broad audience of ability levels, of sizes, uh, it's a hard thing to do well, um, but it's also a really fun thing.